Before today's video starts, I just want to mention that I am coming off a 12 hour stream, so my voice might be quite raspy and I'm sorry about that. But anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download RTX from Minecraft Java and the best thing is, you do not need an RTX graphics card. So if you're new, drop a thumbs up and subscribe, because I'm going to be working on a video teaching you guys how to make cinematics just like this one in the background. So this will work for Minecraft 1.16 and Minecraft 1.17, but it looks even better for Minecraft 1.17. So I'm going to teach you guys how to download Optifine, which we're going to need. And then I'm going to teach you how to run the RTX. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we have Minecraft 1.17 installed. Most of you should already have 1.17 loaded. But in case you don't, go to installations on the Minecraft launcher. Click on new installation and then go to Minecraft 1.17 title it whatever you want and then hit create once you hit create you then want to hit play load it up and then close down the game once you have downloaded your minecraft version for 1.17 or 1.17.1 in this case you basically want to download the latest minecraft version so from 1.17 it'll be 1.17.1.2 1.18 uh, and so on once you guys have downloaded your most recent version, depending on when you're watching this video, you want to click the first link in the description. It'll bring you to this website where you just hit download on the most recent Optivine version. That will then bring us to an ad wall. All we need to do is go to the top right hand side and hit skip. Now once we hit skip, we need to hit download once again. And then we need to save it somewhere inside of our folder. Let's just save it over here. So once you have finished downloading that file into your file path, you then want to locate the .jar file. You want to double click on the file and it's going to open up this kind of window. Now we're downloading Optifine 1.17.1 G9. That's cool. Your folder should be your C drive users owner app data roaming .minecraft, unless you moved it. Now you're going to know if you moved it because you would have done it when installing Minecraft but this is the default trajectory so we're going to leave it as it is. Now we're going to hit install. I've already installed it so I'm not going to hit install again. Well all you guys do is hit install, it installs it and it's done. It's like a one second job. Now after installing Optifine when you reload the Minecraft launcher it should now say Optifine on the bottom left hand side. Well, if it doesn't say Optifine, don't worry. All you need to do is click on it and you should be able to find Optifine. Now, let's say Optifine isn't showing up that way either. No worries. Go to installation, new installation, latest version, and then locate Optifine. Sometimes it will not be in order. So, for example, 1.17.1, 1.17.1. But well, if I scroll all the way down, I might have removed it, but sometimes 1.17 or 1.16 Optifine can be with 1.2. Not too sure why, but it is something that could happen. So just locate it in your versions. And if you're having any trouble, drop a comment because I'm more than happy to help you out. So now we've downloaded Optifine, there's one more thing we need to download, and that's the RTX. So Java RTX is titled Complementary Shaders. It's basically everything you have with an RTX pack with the options to push the limits. So with RTX, you get what you're given. With complementary shaders, you have shaders and RTX uh, compatibility. So all we need to do is hit download for complementary shaders. Once again, this will be linked down in the description for you all. It'll be titled complementary shaders. But now we started downloading this, wait for it to download and we'll go to the second step. So now we've downloaded complementary shaders, all we need to do is go to our shader folder. Now we can do this quite easily by holding the windows key and pressing R on the keyboard. We need to type up data. We need to go to roaming.minecraft and then scroll down until you see shaders. Now if this is your first time using Optifine, 
you might need to load up Optifine once just to generate the shared pack folder. Now all we need to do, let me quickly drag this window over here so we can see it a little bit easier. So on the right hand side is my shared pack folder within Minecraft. My left hand side is my downloads folder. So here is the complementary shaders. All we need to do is drag it over and drop it into our shader pack folder. It turns out I'm using the out of date version. So I'm happy I did today's tutorial. So there we go. Complementary shaders has now been added. So all we need to do now is go back to Minecraft and load up Minecraft. I'm going to load up with Optifine. Oh, it will also say you're playing um, a Java version that is modified. That's just because Optifine isn't supported. Um, Optifine wasn't made by Mojang. It was made by a third party. So that's why it says this. Just ignore it. Okay, so once you guys have loaded into a Minecraft world, it can be a server, it can be single player, it can be anything. What you want to do is you want to hit the escape button to go into your menu. Hit options video settings now you're going to notice a new tab that wasn't here before called shaders we're going to click on shaders and we're going to click on complementary shaders now it will take a hot second to load oh there we go it loaded now when we come into the game we have everything from rtx this is an exact replica of rtx minecraft without needing an rtx graphics card now the things that this features that i'm not going to show in today's video just for the purpose of keeping today's video short the things that it features are things like light rays um custom water animations you can change the reflectiveness of things so that way you can see yourself in glass if the sunlight goes through red glass it'll make red um a glare if it goes through blue glass it'll make a blue glare or a blue shadow and yeah, it's pretty cool, and I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, please do consider subscribing, drop a big fat thumbs up, because I will be making more tutorials as time goes on. But anyway, I'll see you all when I see you all in the next tutorial. Remember, take care, you're awesome, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, bye.